Here comes Bradbury, I think. We're going to heckle him pretty good when he comes through here. Bradbury, what are you doing? Hey, y'all. It's Tuesday. That only means one thing. We're going to race crits in Richardson, Texas at the Turbo Velo Tuesday Night Crits. I, again, am only racing the A race tonight. Um... So just focusing on uh, the A race and trying to be as competitive as possible. I don't know who's coming tonight. The only person I know for sure who's going to show up on uh, the team is Trev. <clears throat> so um, with me and him together, though, we should have a good time, have fun, and I'm going to do my best to cover wheels and uh, work on that endurance. I'm going to try to be a little more selective about what wheels I follow tonight and uh, hope that if there's a break, which there normally is in the A race, that I'm in it. So that's all I've got. I'm going to eat my Cliff Bar, continue to hydrate, because my car says it's 106. Probably not accurate since I just got in the car. But anyway, let's get out there. Let's race bikes, and I'll see you all in a minute. All right, y'all. We're about to hit like 1,100 watts six times in the first, I don't know, 20-something minutes of this race. Uh, look, listening to my pre-race chat, what was my goal to get in a uh, break one is gonna establish the question is am i gonna be in it let's tune in to another episode of 1096 cycling it's your favorite cat three with a dad bod let's do this back in the a race a lot of the same players we saw from a few weeks ago uh got trev in front of me there uh yeah, that's the only team. No, I think Jerry was here as well, uh, but Trev is right there. A lot of cadence, folks. We had like nine, I think, maybe ten. I don't even know. <laughs> it was too many. Um, is that a Pegasus guy? Anyway, yeah, we only got one taco here. Um... Yeah, basically, oh, McKinney Velo. Uh, Mateo was out here. Weird seeing him back in a McKinney kit after uh, we crushed it at Tulsa together. But Mateo is up there. Looney is right here on my right. Just good to see all these folks. We finally got somebody pushing the pace a little bit, tapping 600 watts, and we are moving now. This was a hard race. Um... Fitness is okay, but what's weird is I I end up having like my heart rate is just jacked again and uh, Yeah, I, I put in a lot of hard efforts. I'm just gonna put that out there My training is limited I have a family and a full-time demanding job and I'm just doing the best I can with the amount of training time that I get without getting divorced and my children hating me, okay? Um, so, so, oh yeah, that uh, Cadence female was back. She's super strong, but for some reason today, she kept like letting wheels go, and I was the one right behind her, so I kept having to close them. Uh, but yeah, she's super strong. Ninety-seven degrees. This is my kind of weather. Loving it. Yeah, this dude also kind of sits up. So I do like seven something to get around him. She's not closing that gap, so I'm gonna go close that gap again. Yeah. Anyway, there's eight hundred and nine hundred and ten watts. I don't want to get dropped on the first lap, so why not hit nine hundred? Man, we are just doing thirty-two miles an hour, and it's probably gonna sit up. So I'm sure my first 1,000 watt dump is coming. Oh, there's Trev. Good. Always good to see a teammate around you. So just, um, obviously I know who to follow and who's always in the break. I think that's John McGinnis. Uh, we got Jack Webb over there in the taco kit. 
There's 600 watts. Get a little surge here. Yeah, we're strung out now. I think it just tapped 800 watts. Wind is coming off the right. So we got a south wind here. I don't think I've hit 1,000 watts yet. So this is probably going to end up being like 1,000 watts six times in like 20 minutes or less. It's a lot. See what happens here. I feel like this is probably going to be number one. Okay, we're kind of cruising a little too comfortable here for my liking. Three laps in out of 21. You got to know something's coming when your heart rate's 137. There it goes. I think I told Mateo to follow. I was like, dude, that would probably be a good good wheels to follow. And they they do. So that's good. I was boxed in. Yeah, there's Mateo on my right. Yeah, so I mean, thank goodness somebody was there cuz I probably would have covered that and it would have been uh, no good. Ooh, we are moving now. Alright, so this is coming back, I believe. Maybe someone tries to close that gap. I know we're sitting up. Oh, yeah, I told Trev to stay on that, because now they're going to bridge up to that. So let's... kind of wish Trev had followed that one. I probably would have, but this, uh, this dude goes, so I follow that wheel. Yeah, Trev goes. Thought about letting Trev's wheel go there and seeing if he could get up into that, but I decided to stay on it since I was already there. Maybe I actually pull off, now that I think about it. No. Hard to get a draft off itty bitty Trev. Trev's like 120 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong. There you go, Trev. Yeah, and I let him go. So I'm like, man, he's moving. I hit 1040. I'm like, okay, I'll let him go. People chase him. So, yeah, I thought that for a minute. Man, if he got up into that break, and then I look, and I'm like, oh, man, there's kind of a gap. So I follow these wheels, uh, thinking, man, if me and Trev get in a break together, that would be awesome. Spoiler, that doesn't happen. People are, are chasing, of course. It's all right. My day's coming. There goes Caesar. That dude is just atrociously strong. I'm at 162 beats a minute, and he just comes cruising by. That was just insane. That made me quickly realize the difference between me and Caesar. I mean, who also rides for Butcher Box, for goodness sake? What am I doing in this race? And we all hit the brakes. I was ready to just roll right on through. 983 watts. Why not? It's a lot of wattage. Like, it's just a lot of watts very quickly. This race got hard really fast. And it's just constant. I mean, it's eight, nine hundred, a thousand watts quite a few times. I'm not going to say this is my smartest race by any means. But it was uh, fun until it wasn't. Of course, I'm going to follow this. Why not tap 900 again? Just trying to stay on Caesar's wheel because I know he's going to be in the break. Spoiler, he gets in the break. But, I mean, he literally follows every attack and still has it. You know, it's just, it's just insane. Different level.
What's funny is I don't train as much as these dudes, but I expect to be as good, which is also the definition of insanity. Yeah, so this rider set up... I don't know who that was. Was that uh, Ryan Chrissy? Now we're sitting up for show. That's always comforting because you know a counter is coming. Probably should have been me. Now that I think about it. I just don't have the confidence to attack in this race yet. Uh, I'm sure that day is coming. But I'm going to continue to work on uh, sustained power. All right, there's a uh, Corey Ray, who is always spicing things up on his 45C tires and a gravel bike. All right, here's Looney in front of me. This is an animated race, honestly. A lot of fun. I wish... it's What's funny is in the pre-race chat, I said I was going to do what? Be more selective about the wheels that I followed. But let's be honest. I follow every wheel that I have the chance to follow. I'm not being selective. I'm just being scared of missing the break. And honestly, like, Cadence had the ability to to send a lot of people and you know if one person didn't go they went the next time so they had the ability to to recover a little bit more or be more selective in which ones they followed and i just didn't have that discipline but i think i'm about to follow one here on the left because that looks wide open heart rate's 127 that's what i'm talking about there it is or, oh no, I got tired of that. Okay. Yeah, I got tired of that uh, mundane pace. And I was like, well, I'm going to get up here and just kind of cruise on the front. Like, you know, at 300. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just kind of like, well, let's do something a little bit. You know, I didn't, I knew the attack was coming. I thought, well, if I get up here around 300 and hang out, um, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't like going that slow because I'd rather not do a thousand watts or like twelve hundred to follow an attack. If I'm doing like three hundred, maybe you know it's harder to, it's easier to get on the wheel. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just rambling. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm only doing 26 miles an hour right here. I would have dropped down to 93 degrees. Better put my arm warmers on. Yeah, still no one's coming around me. And I'm now down to like 250, 260 watts. So I'm like, what's happening, people? Please. Don't worry. They're going to spice it up. And it's about to suck, I'm sure. Guys, we're up to 1,118 subscribers last check. That's super cool. I looked today. If anybody's curious how much money I've made since the channel became monetized, um, I'll just give you all that real quick. So I got monetized a little while ago, like right after Tulsa. I've made approximately four dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Where I also gained a subscriber. We're up to one thousand one hundred nineteen subscribers. Four dollars and fifty cents. That's ridiculous. Anyway, that'll get me a happy meal at McDonald's. Can't even need to eat at Chick Fil A for four dollars and fifty cents. Still awesome. <laughs> I'm still super excited about that. All right, well, I've done like a whole lap on the front at 270 watts. Something's bound to happen here any second. Just watching the watts, waiting for it. You can see everybody right there on me. As 
So I'm staying to the left here tactically because uh, if I'm going to get attacked, I want it to be on the right because that's where the wind is coming from. Make them attack into the wind. Now, so hopefully I can, uh, if I have to respawn, I'll have some kind of draft benefit here. Still staying way over here to the left, and people are going to come around here. Yeah, this is it. Good. There go some folks. I do 11 hundy. Stay with it. Now we're working again. Cool. Enough of that stupid stuff. We're going single file. Coming in hot. Heart rate's already back to 155. Hit 980 there again. So we are... That's 1,000 watts in 30 seconds twice. I remember when I used to struggle to hit 1,000. Now we're just like, boom, thousand, boom, thousand. Okay, so she was kind of letting those wheels go again. And I was like, now, go, get on them. So I'm getting back up here. Heart rate's 161, so that's not good. 163. But I am with these wheels, so that's good. I'm not on the front anymore, but I'm at least close enough that uh, if something gets established, I can either go with it or I'll be in it. But I'm trying to be smartish. And everybody sits up again. Okay, there it goes. I'm a little boxed in here. I wouldn't have followed that anyway. Okay, I do 12.04. Oh, okay. I chased that down. That's some good wattage. Look at me doing 1,000 for like 10. Uh, man, that's a good attack on my part. So I'm trying to chase this down. I'm really happy with that. That was some decent power. Um, man, I am flying. Rocket boosters activate. Those guys are up the road. Okay, I was worried about that staying away. I decided to make something happen and attacked. I am tacked out. Go wide here, hoping someone rolls through, and they do. Boom, on the wheels. We are going. Jack looks around. I don't know who that is. Is that Jack, too? Anyway. I guess they don't have it. Well, maybe they do. 500. Anyway. Uh, flicks me through. And I look. And yeah, we're, they're on us. They're on us. There's nothing to this. I've realized I just burned a match big time uh, to try to close that and hope we could get something rolling, but we don't. I think I did close. We closed this enough to, to deter them from continuing. Uh, and of course, the counters come. 940 to stay with this. And man, this race is hard now. Hard. And what am I doing? Am I going to follow this? Am I? No. I'm being smartish. Yeah, I think I thought about that, but I was like, I do not have another thousand right this moment. So, I got Corey Ray here, Cesar, Looney, uh, Jack on my left. Eric, if you're watching this video, isn't that another Pegasus dude over there on the left? Or is that you? I think I see multiple Pegasus jerseys. Me and Eric had some words at the end of the race, but we we made up. We're all good. That's actually Mateo. I think I said that was Looney. That's Mateo. I don't know why I'm over here in the right in the wind. Here I go. I'm getting out of the wind a little bit. This is a great race, just for real. Beautiful weather. 
hard, hot. See if I can get in the draft. There I go, getting over. Down to 91 degrees. Better get your beanies on because it is getting chilly. So I have found a trend uh, that normally the break in this race gets established between 20 and 25 minutes. Rarely earlier and rarely later than that. So I know that the field is probably starting to uh, lull or get tired and that one of these big attacks is going to actually survive. So um, I'm really trying to be cognizant of that and think you know, that the next one could be the one. We're moving pretty good here. Not a lot of power, but pace is good. 32 miles an hour. They crosswind. Here comes our headwind section. Heart rate is is honestly doing pretty good. Uh, let me pull up the stats. So the uh, normalized for this race was 311. That's pretty freaking high because my average was only 265. Average pace 26.3. Average heart rate 152, max 174. Average power 253, max 1205. Uh, normalized 311. And there's 1120 following these wheels. I am getting it. Man, I love this sport. It is stupid hard. We are flying again. I literally just shouted at Jack. This is the one. I'm thinking if these guys stay on it, this has got to survive. We're 21 minutes in. This is it. No, we all set up. And I say, come on. I'm frustrated. But uh, Mateo. Yeah, Mateo rolls through. Good. Mateo, that was a good choice, dude. Uh, Jack's looking around realizing now they're right here. No. I think, okay, if I can get with Mateo, maybe we can roll something, right? So I do a little dig there, 800 to stay on it. Heart rate's elevated, but I know if I can get to Mateo. I look around, I think Caesar's there, you know, these strong dudes. So again, another one is not, not sticking. They're not letting us go. And it's probably because there's so many Cadence dudes out there, and there's no Cadence guy in this, you know, and so they're not going to let us go. Not that I could stay away. But Mateo's still working, uh, even though they're on our wheels. So I'm like, well, let's chill for a minute, wait and see for the attack. Like I said, I just don't have the confidence to attack this field yet. Uh, okay, this guy's strong, whoever that is. He attacks, a, he at least does work. Okay, here's <laughs> 1100 watts. What am I doing? Okay, I looked over and Caesar was going. He was closing that. And uh, man, I like, I locked eyes with him and I was like, oh, heck yeah, because I could see the shadow. So I was able to like almost preemptively follow his wheel. You got Corey over there looking around, just chomping at the bit. So I know something's coming and I think this is it. There goes an attack. Boom! 11.20 again. <laughs> this is monstrous right now. I'm shredded. I'm just getting just laid out here. Corey is like digging. He's going to close that. Thank goodness. I'm at 166. We are in the red. Alarms are going off in my head, but I don't care. I'm just ignoring it. Pretending it's not happening. Uh, it's so much easier to watch this than it is to actually do it. 
for real. I think people underestimate how difficult bike racing is. I even, like, when I watched the tour the past few weeks, like, I even watched this stuff, and I'm like, oh, guys, attack. Like, you know, you're watching it, and you're like, man, why aren't they doing something? <laughs> here I, like, in the moment, you're like, no, I get it. I get it. I think that is uh, Jacob Kelly in front. He also ends up in the break. Cesar ends up in the break in front of me. And David, I can't tell. David Gowana, I think is his name. Sorry if I just butchered your name. But there goes Jacob, I think. We're going to call him Jacob anyway. I probably should have gone around now that I look at it. See, okay, there I go. There's 11.01. 11.20, why not? Ah, see, like, that's where I lack, y'all, is, is the wherewithal. Uh, Justin, if you're watching this, I know you're probably thinking the same thing, dude. Like... I should have gone around Cesar and followed this sooner, and this wouldn't have been as disastrous as it was for me. Uh, I'm back at 166 beats. I'm back in the red. Uh, Jacob, or whoever this guy is, realizes I'm there. He's like, oh, that's 1096 cycling. I probably shouldn't attack anymore. Not true. He has no clue who I am. But, uh, yeah, I'm on his wheel. I'm like, for the love of goodness, please give me like five seconds to recover. <laughs> and there goes, is that Corey? No, that was Trevor. Dude, Trevor, that was a super smart attack. That was super smart. There goes Jacob following Trev. And there goes Cesar, and I bet this is the break getting established. There goes Looney, and I'm trying to stay with this. Do I stay with it? I'm in the red. They're chasing down Trev. Corey's still here. I want to say this is this is the one that stays away, but Trev, I can't remember what happens here. So Trev attacked. They followed... I don't know. Let's see see what goes down here. I'm. I don't remember where the break goes, and but those guys were in it. I think. Man, just beautiful day to race bikes. All right, well, I'm back here recovering because I did those both those really big efforts back there. And we, we can't see anything. Sorry for the bad view here. I'm just back here sucking wind. There's Mateo hanging out with me. Yeah, so I'm when Trevor went, I was just sitting in. I got a guy up the road, so I have no reason to be up there working. I wish I knew what was happening up there. I need I should have gotten Trev in here to commentate, but I, I didn't realize that he was up the road with that potentially. No? Okay, Caesar's back. So that was not the break. That was there I go. A thousand. Oh, I think that's because that dude attacked, and I saw Trev coming back, maybe. No, this dude was chasing down Trev, or going, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not sure that was my smartest move. I'm basically just bringing Caesar up to the break, probably, is what I'm doing here. Well, there goes that dude. Let's see if Caesar comes around. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm starting back up to 160, which is... I've hit it so many times. There goes Corey. <clears throat> this is like a soap opera. I love it. All right, there's Caesar. I can't follow that either, because I'm still just redlining too hard. 
I think I can see Trev right there, and he wasn't able to close it to Jacob, I think. Or whoever was up the road. I'm not sure how Corey comes back to us, because I think this is where Caesar stays away. Yeah, and I'm pretty toasted here. I need someone to work if we're going to go, but... Okay, here comes Looney. That's good. Good. All right. There's Trev. I don't remember catching you, dude. All right, so we must have caught Trev, and then Caesar's up the road now. That was probably the break getting established, and I should have just followed his wheel, but uh, I'm still learning. I think this is Eric in front of me. Eric ended up, we just basically met during the race. He's been racing a while. I've seen his name a lot, but uh, he wants to, I think, ultimately chase some stuff. And, uh, man, I'm just, I'm in a world of hurt right now. While the heart rate's not super high, um, I just, yeah, a, a lot of efforts in a short amount of time. So, I'm just not the caliber of some of these dudes, you know. It's almost, I'm just kind of faking it till I make it out here. If I ever get in a break or do well in a race here, it's just going to be basically luck. Well, there's 740 to stay on this. Jack, close that gap, please. Let's see what happens here. All right, this guy comes around. All right, we're... Oh, there's Trev. Okay, we're kind of coming back together here. A little spread out. I think people are trying to get up to that break, thinking, yeah, it's going to survive. I'm pretty tacked out here, but still doing work. Okay, there it goes. 740 watts. Man, this guy in front of me, this Cadence guy is strong. I'm 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 pretty tacked though. I'm not I don't have the ability to give a dig right now. I'm thresh hold. Do I let his wheel go? I am, yeah, I'm letting that wheel go because I'm just like, I need to recover. 745, though. Okay, I started to let that, this is where I'm starting to pop. So I let that wheel go, and that's all they were sitting up, so I went again and gave 740, and now I'm climbing to close. Okay, yeah, I'm right back with it, but I can't look behind me, and then I almost get to it, and then I let it go again. They attack, and I'm like, ah, F that. So, I kind of sit up, let somebody come around, and I look up, and I'm like, man, I think there's only one person up the road. It may be Jacob, but everybody's going to come by me here. Where is everybody? I guess I'm letting that ride away. Yeah, I was just popped here. I mean, my heart rate's like chilling at 162. Um, that's where, you know, my lack of just volume shows, is I wasn't able to kind of hold those wheels and, and stay onto that. There's 560, so we're gonna we're gonna close this, I guess. What am I doing? This is called floundering. I guess it looked like they set up again, so I attacked, thinking, okay, not attacked, but like put it in an effort to close it, and then they go, they surge again, and I'm like, ugh, I need. I'm in like no man's land right now. There we go. All right, people come around me and close this. I'm still at like 160, so that's not good, but I do 800 watts to stay with Jack. Just because I couldn't deal to listen to Jack talk crap when he's like, oh, we dropped you. I just yeah, I couldn't deal with that. All right, so we're back together. I believe the break has established. I'm not in it. Spoiler alert. If 
you want to watch the sprint, you can just fast forward to the end, but there's still some good drama left, so I would encourage you to watch. Is this John McGinnis? I believe that's John on my left here. Ooh, there's 600. All right, staying with it. We're still doing work. Like, we're still strung out. I'm tired. I am definitely in the hurt locker, just mentally in a pretty dark place right here after all those efforts. But I think we're going to finish this up, close that down. There's Mateo over there on the left coming back. Man, and there's two up the road. Can't tell who that is. Well, this pace is currently good because I do need to just recover for a bit, but also I think I'm pretty freaking disappointed that I'm not in the break. I still have two. You can see two people right up there. One, two. I think that's Cesar and David, and they're going to close the gap to Jacob, maybe. Kelly, I think. Ends up being a three-man break. Field sprint for fourth. There's 810 watts. Yeah, I do 640 to close this gap. 670. Ugh, 620. Who is that? Is this Eric? Okay, so Eric, I think, desperately wanted to close this. And this is where our words kind of came from, because he wanted to work together more, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're at 161 for me, my heart rate, and I just... Now, I could probably do, like, an effort, but I mean, I'm not going to be able to do anything good and sustained. No one really wanted to work together, and clearly, like, now that I'm watching the video, Corey is, is the disruptor, I think, both these guys are. They've got two up the front, why would they work together, you know? Yeah, they're just letting Eric sit up there in the wind and do work. If I had had the wherewithal, I maybe would have, you know, put in an effort here to come around and help Eric. Now there's Looney over there on the right. Did he just get lapped? Well, smart riding on uh, Cadence's part here. Okay, so Eric's talking to me, maybe. Yeah. Eric's over there waving. Jack rolls through. Eric, I see what you're talking about now, trying to chase down, getting, getting... If I'd, if I'd had, like, my head on a swivel, I would have noticed that I had two Cadence guys in front of me, and they were in the break, but, dude, I was cross-eyed. And, uh, I didn't have that kind of wherewithal. Now I do, watching the video, so... We should have worked a bit, worked together better and uh, not let them disrupt like that. There's Trevor K. What's up, Trevor K? Looking pro. All right, Jack pulls off there.
Yeah, at 148 beats, this is my chance to do something, and I didn't. Mateo goes. Eric's with him. Jack's back. And I just keep following this Cadence guy around. I did a decent job of reading the race early, but yeah, I'm going to argue here at the end I'm not doing a great job of reading this. Being a little, little hyper self-critical, but that's what you need in bike racing. Yeah, so I think at this point it's kind of turned into a little bit of self-pity because I didn't make the break. So now I'm just following Wills. 640, following Looney. Cadence is covering those. That's good, but I just do 840 to follow Looney and the Cadence guy. Yeah, Cadence is being smart, following Wills. They're not attacking, but they're at least following stuff. Um, all right, I do 880 there. Get on Corey's will. Oh man, this is an effort here. We're moving. Yeah, so now I know, you know, we're down to three laps. We're not going to catch them, you know. Some a little demoralized. Uh, I understand Eric's frustration with that, you know. I get it. So, hat's got to go off to, like, Cadence for being smart here since they got two guys in the break. Is that Corey? There's 800 watts following. Ouch. There's 910 following that. Seven eighty. Yeah, man. I don't know what Corey was doing there. Was he trying to like bridge up to them? Yeah, and again, I'm just, I'm just really gassed here. I'm just, I don't even think I had enough to close that gap you know I'm just legs are absolutely fried 
this is actually a cool moment. So Trevor comes around. He's still back there. Trev comes around and actually drags me back to these guys. This is cool. So I appreciate this from Trev. Little sacrificial teamwork here from Trevor. Coming in hot on the right. There he is. <laughs> uh, that was nice. So I appreciate that. He kind of brings me back here into this headwind as well. I think he brings me all the way up to him and I finish it off. Yeah, so I'm going to finish it off here, 700, and close that last little bit. Of course, they attack as soon as we get up here, I think. Now I'm already back at 163 beats. So, yeah, heart rate's getting elevated quicker now. Clearly, you know, I'm pretty gassed. Uh, just, yeah. Not good when the heart rate spikes that quickly based off a, a relatively small effort considering what's been happening. But we're doing 400 on and off here. I think we're coming in with two laps to go. Let's see what the lap counter says in the next uh, pass. I think here in a minute is where Eric and I exchange some words. I think he's as frustrated as I was that we weren't in the break. Yeah, but in the in the middle of the race, it never crossed my mind that Cadence was disrupting a chase, you know? Yeah, so here's where Eric and I are kind of chatting, but... Like I said, we made amends, and we're all good now, but I, I understand his frustration. Two laps. So we're just literally discussing it <laughs> with two laps to go. He's, you know, he's kind of calling me out for not organizing a chase. And I'm telling him, dude, I like didn't have a chase in me. Like I was so freaking gassed. Um, but yeah, it's easy now to watch it and be like, oh yeah, man, I should have chased. But dude, in the moment I was just so freaking fried. So... I wish I'd wish I'd had it in me. All right, we're done chatting. We're going to go back to racing bikes. There's 970 watts. I'm sure everybody else behind us probably got tired of seeing us uh, go back and forth as well. Alright, next lap around will be the bell lap, final lap, and uh, it's about to be all she wrote. So let's talk about the sprint real quick as we uh, head into that, so with one lap to go. I um, I didn't have any intent on like I wasn't it's not like I was saving anything in the tank to be able to sprint I was just gonna kind of give it whatever I had left uh, considering how hard the race was uh, I'm farther forward than I would want to be uh, for the final sprint but there's a dude in front of me and uh, right around here he kind of flicks me through and uh, I, I pass on that uh, and then I think you know I come out of this corner here and uh, kind of start a sprint I think I tap a thousand, you know, make the corner, tap a thousand again, and, and it slowly declines from there. There goes Corey and uh, Mateo. And uh, yeah, so I end up getting passed, I think, by two or three guys, and uh, end up in the field sprint. I end up fourth, uh, end up eighth overall. Final spot is eighth. So trying hard to stay with this because we got one lap to go. Heart rate is 164, 165, so that's not beneficial to me doing anything well at all, but uh, 
in my mind I'm mentally prepared to dig here at the finish just to give it my best shot All right, so Trevor comes up here, and I think Trevor's probably looking for me. So Trev, yeah, it does a little work, you know? Okay. Okay, Trev hops in here, I think. Good. No? Okay, no, this guy kind of rolls through, so I just go with him. Oh yeah, he just slipped me through right there. I pass. Decline. I mean, I, I don't. No offense to him, I don't know him, and uh, so I'm not. I'm not looking to lead him out, but I ultimately I probably lead. I think Mateo out, who does really well. So I'm actually okay with leading Mateo out out of all people. Alright, heart rate's not mega attacked, but it's about to get there. I think we're going to hit 170 here in a minute, but make this turn and, uh, yeah, just give it a little bit of juice. Let's see what she wrote here. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Alright, there's ten something. It's not my best at all. Let's see what we do here. Oh, 980. That's it, yeah. It's going to decline from here. Here comes Mateo, Eric, and I think Jack. going to pit me at the line here. There's Corey. Boom. Way to go, Jack. That was a great sprint, dude. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Super fun video to commentate and to, and to race. It was just really difficult. So anyway, uh, subscribe to my stupid channel. Or don't. I don't care. Later, y'all.